Hello and welcome to episode number 52 of the Hobbies and Happiness podcast where we talk all about the hobby that makes us happy, tabletop gaming. I'm one of your hosts, Dan. And I'm Jim. And today we're going over a tournament recap. All right. So uh, episode 52, before we get into the recap, uh, got some uh, uh, stuff to go over. Number one, audible.com, guys. Uh, if you want to listen to some audiobooks, head over to our to our affiliate link, uh, audibletrial.com slash hobbies and happiness, www.audibletrial.com slash hobbies and happiness. If you want to sign up for a free 30 day trial of Audible and get yourself a free book that's yours to keep forever, I know, I know, I have talked about Bobaverse, <laughs> but this will be the last week I talk about Bobaverse. Heading on a trip this weekend, oh, this man. coming weekend. I already told my wife, I'm like, I've got books that listen I am to ready it. to listen to because the trip there is going to be, it's like a 13 hour drive. Ooh. So I'm like, all right, I Hello. will get, I have to figure out where I left off so I can, I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Finish book three, start book four, and then finish off that series. I am looking forward to that. And then I need to look and see what other books I've got on my Audible <laughs> account. So if you want to sign up for a free 30-day trial, again, you can cancel at the end if you want, but that free book is yours to keep. Head on over to www.audibletrial.com slash hobbies and happiness to start your 30-day trial and get your hand on a free book, audiobook as well. All right. And also, guys, we just announced um, we just hit a thousand. Yeah, we we hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, th hey, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank we, you, Jackal. We appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who, who put us at a thousand, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you. And um, in celebration and um, in thanking all of you, we are doing a giveaway. <laughs> so we just announced that. Um, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, we will link that video right here so you can go check that out. We are giving away your choice of some Dragon Shield clear matte sleeves, yes. the sleeves that we use in just about all of our card games. Um, if they're not the clear ones, it's yeah. some version of Dragon yeah, Shield, but we much. love we like Dragon Shield. And then also we are also giving away a, a copy of Marvel Legendary, uh, the MCU Phase 1 10th Anniversary. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, what we're doing is we're going to pick one winner, and they'll have the choice of which product they want. Do you want the card game, a legendary, or do you want some sleeves? You need a whole lot of sleeves. And the sleeves, it, it is 10, 10 boxes of 100, so it gives yes. you 1,000 sleeves. So that's what, a, that's display, a, that's what <laughs> a display case is. So, uh, yeah, so head over, check that video out, and then uh, watch the video, and then you can enter yourself if you want to be entered to win that giveaway. All right. I think I think that's all the housekeeping that we've got to go over so. for now. Um, but uh, I, I, I just again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Jim. Uh, appreciate everybody uh, to where we are. And yeah. guys, we are literally just getting started because <laughs> <laughs> I was like looking back and I'm like, you know, like it, it's been it hasn't been well, I guess it's been a full year. It, yeah. It's been a year since we started doing the podcast. Yep. Uh, we started doing video content later on in the year. Um, actually more like middle to late to, yeah. to later on in the year. Um, Which but we're coming up to a year on that now. Mm -hmm, yeah. Because we're almost yeah. in June. Mm -hmm. Holy I, cow. I, dude, I know, man. It's so done. crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy where we are. Yeah. So, um, all right. All right. Well, with all that out of the way, uh, we're talking about our uh, tournament recap. So we, we've we touched, we've talked about this for a little bit. I, I know we talked, we, we did one, a whole episode kind of on how to prepare, how to prep for a yep. tournament. And honestly, Jim, I feel like I just took all that advice and threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dan, sometimes, you know, a wise man once said, everyone has a plan until you get punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and stepping into your first tournament and like, actually versing someone you've never played yeah, against right that's the punch in the right, face you're right. like oh uh i forget everything yeah so right. the more you so, do it, it just gets better all right so uh, there were about 24 mm -hmm. I, I think there's about 24, yeah, people 24 people in people. in this tournament okay um so i think i got 16th i i think something like that so okay. i said i'm like hey Top 16, man. I got top 16. <laughs> That's Not pretty bad. good. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so um, let's see. I, I, so I played 
five matches, mm -hmm. and I went two and three. The only <laughs> – and one of those wins was a bye. <laughs> 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 Doesn't matter. You got there. Dan. I still got there. <laughs> I still got there. Um, so to be honest, like I was a lot more nervous than mm -hmm. I thought I was going to be. Yeah. I was so nervous. So um, we, what we kind of want to do is just, we just want to tell you guys uh, about the <laughs> tournament, my experience, Jim's experience, just yeah. as a, a spectator. Yeah. Um, I was like helping with judging stuff, even though it was like unofficial. Oh yeah. You kind of <laughs> yeah. were. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, yeah. And then honestly, I'm, I'm already kind of looking forward to more magic for the summer. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so let's just jump right in. So yeah, I was so nervous. I, I was so nervous that first <laughs> match, um, I was paired up, uh, I was paired up against actually the guy who took third, mm -hmm. um, four color blank. Nice. Okay. So, um, if you're not aware, I went in with a, um, amulet Titan list, However, it was the Karn variant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty good about using Karn, mm -hmm. and then literally after that tournament, I'm like, no, I I, <laughs> I I just I cannot. This format is way too fast. Yeah. It, it's just it's way too fast for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Like I'm not in a control list. And it's, I've also noticed it's super grindy as well. Like it's, it's a fast format, mm -hmm. but since so many decks are just powerful, mm -hmm. it also comes down to, oh, now we can take this game longer because, well, we're both equally strong. And if, and that's a thing, like if you are going that grindy matchup, you need to be mm -hmm. built and ready for that grindy yeah. matchup, which to be honest, I, I don't think my deck is t tuned for mm -hmm. that type of matchup, yeah, a little bit. So it, like, it is very explosive, yeah. Yeah, like when 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 I explode, I mean, I I'm gone and I win. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, there was I think it was my second. It might have been my last match. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it was my last match where I I played um, Primeval Titan, followed it up with another Primeval Titan. Yeah. So he's like, oh, you got two. All right, I'm done. I scoop. <laughs> <laughs> It's like if I if I can get there, like then yeah. I win. Yeah, it's and, just, and you're really able to get there on turn three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can get there. You on can turn get three. under a lot of decks. Uh, yeah. So and and that's I feel like that's what I need to try and work around. It's, and, and the thing is, it's it's the meta game, right? Yeah. It really is just looking at the meta. I'm mm -hmm. like, like looking at looking at the top eight for for this tournament. I'm like, dude. So the number one deck was Moon Belcher. Uh, two was is it? Mer oh, really? Is it Merktide got yeah. second? Oh, okay, and I'm kind of not surprised. Well, n neither am I, but I just I I did not I don't remember seeing that deck uh, listed in top eight, but whatever. Oh, okay. Um, and then you had four color blank and four color elementals. So <laughs> two four color blanks, one four color elemental. Um, and then another is it Merktide Obosh Red? It's, it's also like kind of the same thing because the yeah, elementalist is also right. playing the Omnath as well. And right, but four color elementals. Blink. I it is four color elementals running Yorion. Uh, that one I don't know. Yeah, but it's it's for sure running Omnath. Yes. Oh, I'm one hundred percent. It's running Omnath. Um, it does not. Okay, yeah, it's it is running Yorion for sure. That okay. four color element, elementals list is running Yorion. So gotcha. you've got two is it Merc Tides, three four color blank <laughs> slash elementals, a Yogmoth, and then a Obosh red deck. Yeah. And then the, the winner was a combo deck of which, Moon Belcher. Which the Obosh red list, mm -hmm. I was actually kind of surprised about. But Are, were you surprised that it did as well as it yeah, did? Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of surprised at that. Same, right. But like when I was listening to the guy talking about the list, mm -hmm. um, the Soul Scar Mage is ridiculously good for for this format right now. Oh because, yeah. So like if you have Obosh right. out, all of your odd stuff is dealing double damage, double damage. Yep. and then the Soul Scar Mage is now reducing, reducing their yeah. all of their stats. So mm -hmm. it could be like minus six, yep. minus six on a right. creature, right. which instantly kills a prime time. Right. Right. But yep. kills a lot of stuff. Kills as well. a lot of stuff for sure. Yeah. Or it kills a Yawgmoth. Yeah. Yeah. Kills kills a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if 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 Yawgmoth is on board, <laughs> you're probably losing anyway at that point. Maybe. In all honesty. Maybe. Um, that, that's a really good value deck as well. Yeah, it is. Because you're just like, sure. oh, kill my thing, draw. Mm -hmm. Kill my thing, draw. Yeah. 
Yeah. Maybe so, we get Dan a Yawgmoth list. <laughs> dude, honestly, like I would look I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's so cool, dude. It looks super sick. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks really, really cool. Um, yeah. So, so my first, my first match, I'm literally like, just breathe, mm -hmm. just breathe. Like, I, and I don't know what it was like. I normally don't get that. I don't get nervous yeah. playing in a tournament. So I, uh, and, and I told everybody there, like I told, it's basically <laughs> our team. So like, right. Yeah. So like I told our team, I'm like, dude, I don't know what it is, but I'm just chalking it up to like it being my first modern tournament yeah. and first tournament in person in a long yeah. time mm -hmm. that like I, I'm, I'm not excuse. I'm like, I'm not excusing. It's been over two years. Since like I'm not excusing it, but still like it, it, it I, I am acknowledging this is my first modern event yeah. is my first modern event ever. And I'm just, and you were practicing for like what? Two to four weeks. I forget exactly mm, before yeah. the turn. So it's not even like you've been in the format very right, long. Right, right, exactly. So, so. I kind of knew what to expect, but also I had no idea what yeah. to expect as well. Yeah. Like I, I, I knew what the meta kind of looked like. So I knew kind of what to prepare for. Um, but honestly, when you go up a, against another deck who has basically built his entire deck to hose your strategy, mm. what are you going to do? Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me of the Buzz Lightyear quote. It's like, all the years at the Academy ruined or yeah. something like that. <laughs> oh, my years of training at the Academy ruined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I think I think my, my biggest takeaway was – um, I was glad to get the experience, mm -hmm. honestly, because now going into another event, I'm not going to be as nervous. Yeah. Um, so like, it's good, it's good to get one out there just to be like, all right, now I've, I've got those, I've got those jitters done. Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got it out of my system. I kind of know what to expect going to my next event. Yeah. So like, I know I'm good. I'm going to play in another event. That's like 300 players or something yeah. so that that'll obviously be a lot different mm -hmm. but it still it it's still i now have experience in modern format right? right before before that tournament i played standard i played commander that was pretty much it mm -hmm. and then everything else was ex exclusively on like arena right, right. Um, but it was weird. Like I, I remember is a completely different experience. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> totally, it, it's so different. And I'm even thinking, I'm like, yeah, this is so not arena. <laughs> like it's, it, it's, it, it's not. And it's just, it's so, it is so different. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's not that one's better or worse. It's just, it's different. Mm -hmm. it, it is so, so different. So you told me one thing right there on the day of the tournament that it's you're not you are so very right mm -hmm. <laughs> and slow down make your opponent play to your speed yep. like you do not have to let them go fast yep. right so often right so often right when you're when you're playing in a, in a in a card game tournament right somebody is just going off and doing their thing you have no idea what's going on yeah just be like okay what does that do what is it and don't be afraid to ask yeah okay what does that do what does that do what does that do? That way you know what's going on. Especially if there's like a ruling question you have about yeah. stuff, call a judge over to. Like that is also very important. Yeah. And one thing came up, which I did not know. <laughs> we did not go over this did in playtesting. Did not go over this in playtesting. It never came Blood up. Blood Moon and Urza Saga. Yeah. Same any, thing with Alpine Moon. Yeah. Any, any, any of that effect with no. an enchantment land kills the land. Yep. And then well, because with the saga, well, the saga yeah, is what yeah. I meant. Yes, correct, correct. Um, and I'm like, oh, you're right. That makes sense because yes, it's still a saga, mm -hmm. but now all of those chapters are gone. Yeah. The counters still remain. Yeah. Since it's a saga, the counters are greater than the number of chapters. So now it's yep. you, it is sacrificed. It's completely. So gone. I'm like, my first thing was, is that right? And then in my back of my head, yeah, Dan, that's right, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, all right, note to self, <laughs> if I'm ever playing against a deck that is going to sideboard in that, just take out all my Urza Sagas. Yeah. There's no sense mm -hmm. in leaving them in because that's just too much of a liability. Yeah. It's too much of a liability. I mean, it's it's actually still not a terrible thing as long as you're able to turn one it. If you're on the play, I think it's still a good idea to main board. Yeah, because yeah. then, well, by the time you they're even able to drop you, you the don't, blood moon, you don't want 
Turn one, okay. Yeah. But you come turn three, you don't want to have two on board. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Then you just set you back like, uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Guess I'm dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's basically what happened. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I didn't even think about that. Um, uh, but yeah, it's it, it it really hosed me. It really yeah. really hosed yeah, me. Yeah, when I when I looked over because you called judge, I'm like, yeah, Dan, it it does that. And I saw you got rid of two Urza sagas. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, yeah, ooh, that yeah. set him back so it really, much. It really Essentially, two turns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. rough. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the biggest thing, the biggest that my biggest takeaway was slow down. Mm-hmm. Just slow down. I, I I don't know what a lot of the cards do. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I have a good, I have a good grasp on the format, but there's just such a wide variety of decks. It's For so sure. much different from playing a standard FNM where yep. you're, you're, you see three or four decks. You know yep. what everybody's playing. Here, I didn't, I did not see another person playing Amulet Titan. Mm-hmm. I didn't see another one. Another I was kind person of surprised playing. though. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Was there someone else playing Burn? Uh, aside from like the aside Obosh from- list, no, I don't yeah. think so. There was there were so many different deck lists. Mm-hmm. There was somebody playing Affinity, yeah. uh, humans. There were so many different mm-hmm. decks out there. Yeah. Uh, somebody was playing Jund. Well, now that I think about it, our team was using all of the like underrated decks at the tournament. Yeah. Well, except <laughs> it was except, humans, except, burn, and, and then Amulet Titan, which except, it's not like they're Obvi underrated. Was playing, um, oh, that's right, that's Obvi right. Was he was playing Merc Titan. Yeah. yeah, I forgot yeah. about that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me, me, and Avi had this. I think we had the same record. Oh, did you? I, I think we ended okay. with the same record. I okay. think so. Yeah. I th- oh, yeah. That's right. I think he dropped his last match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like, I, I, I started figuring out what the lingo was because Avi, Avi, dude, Avi's the man. I love Avi. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going on and on. X two, drop this. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, literally, he, I think he said X two. I'm like, dude, Avi. What are you talking about? X two. The X is the variable for how many wins you've gotten. Yes. Except a lot of the time, if you go O and two, you just say X and two, so it sounds better. (laughs) Yeah. Just so that way, no one needs to know. It was really you. You lost your two matches, and then you just left. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But like, so it's. I'm so glad that Avi's around because. Mm He's probably going to go to all these tournaments yeah. and, and all these events. So I'm like, all right, Avi, I need you to explain all this stuff for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So and and he did. He mm-hmm. yeah, he. So he was there explaining everything. I'm like, all yeah. right, cool. And and he cool. was definitely explaining the format a bit to us as well because mm-hmm. I've I've been out of it for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sure, I still had some cards, but I wasn't going to tournaments. I wasn't even really right. keeping up with the format. Right. right. Um, until he, like we started. And he was the one who told me Karn was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I'm like, maybe I just I, I want to play it. Like I yeah. like it. And yeah. and li- like I said, first event didn't really know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So I at least got it out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So um, but now I'm like, all right, I I, th- I think I've got some things that which, I want to do to make it a little bit different. Which I still really like the card in the deck. And so same do thing I. with like Tron as well. Oh yeah. Um it's it's just to the the ability to go search for something that you could really utilize rather than some more offensive thing that doesn't get you out of a position, I think, is really powerful. Oh, I mean, it's definitely powerful. Mm-hmm. The, the, the problem is, right, is I don't know if I have the time in, 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 in any given board state, right, mm-hmm. to utilize it, right? Because I have to drop Karn, like in, in most of those situations, I want to keep Karn on board, right? Yeah. So it's like I don't have the two turns that I need to put him on board, plus or minus. Make sure he stays and go to my next turn. Right. Like if I'm kind of taking a turn off. Yeah. Right. So yes, Karn's great, but he's not progressing me towards my win condition. Yeah. He is just trying to give me time, which. Is is good because he does eat up a lot of resources from the opponent, right? Because yeah. a lot of the times my opponent is using a lot of their resources on trying to get rid of Karn. Yeah. Um. But right, it's to be honest, though. I I honestly feel like I'd I'd almost just rather have any of another card in my hand that gets me deeper into finding uh um amulet or uh, prime time. 
yeah. right? Primeval Titan or or um, or Cultivator class or just something that is going to win me the game. Yeah. Either right then and there or 100% next turn. Yeah. And and the other thing about it is like especially when you go into game 2, right? Game mm-hmm. 2 and game 3, you you tend to always slow your deck down in terms yeah, of right. how uh like how optimized it is yeah, to be absolutely. able to control what your opponent can do. Right. The Karn just gives you that in turn 1 is or in game, game one, one as well. Yeah, game one, yeah. So, right. but I, I definitely understand because it's like, sure, you can get that seven mana on turn three. You get it in turn And three. he's what? Uh, four or five mana? Who? Karn. Karn is four. All right, so four, and then like you can go get a three or less and still be able to play it on that turn three. Mm-hmm. But yeah, at, at that point, it's like, am I just better off playing more aggressive than mm-hmm. being able to control them? Because now they're on the back foot right. and need to take care of my answer. Because for honestly, like Explore, I feel like I, I, I want to have a full play set of that. Dude, after, Because being oh able to God. draw a card and then just play another land yeah. that is a bounce land that I can just... Yeah. You get for two mana, four mana. Dude, when you did that with Amulet of Vigor and you had like the triple explorers in yeah. hand and you were just like, oh, bounce land, return it back after tapping it for mana. Mm-hmm. Explore, do it again, draw a card. Explore, do it again. I'm just like, wow, that just, that was a little bit nuts. Mm-hmm. As, and then if you had like if double. If I had double, if you I'm had netting double, mana. I'm yeah. netting mana. That's, that's, that's what's crazy. Yeah. That's the... <laughs> And I'm not down any cards in hand either because I'm just bouncing that same land yeah. to yeah. hand. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's too good. Yeah. Um, and then Avi was saying uh, abundance. Abundance would be a great. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the card name is abundance. Um, but when you play it, you name non land or land, and then you reveal cards off the top of your deck. Okay. Until you hit um, either that non that land or non land. Okay. Um, yeah, here it is. It's abundance. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. I'm pretty. I just <laughs> want to make sure I'm right. Yeah. Okay. So abun. Oh, abundance is an enchantment. If you would draw a card, you may oh. instead choose land or non-land and reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all the others revealed this way in the bottom of your library. What's in the same order. It's four. Oof. That's what sucks. Oof. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. That's rough. Yeah, I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> But, uh, but I definitely understand. But it understand. fixes your draws. Yeah. It fixes your yeah. draws. Especially if you're playing uh, Explores. Yes. Because then right. you're just like, well, I actually want a non-land. Right. Or I want a land. Right. I want a land. <laughs> to then right. be able to go play that additional land that turn right. for the Explore. Right. So I can so, see it, like, but it's rough. Well, well, since it's four, like, think about it. Would I, would I want Karn or would I want Abundance? Because Abundance is pro- is progressing me, c- can be can be progressing me towards what towards what I want to do. Yeah, but that's, at that point it because since it's non-land that's also hitting your the expo maps that's hitting explore that's hitting grazer that's hitting dryad which a lot of the time you still want dryad. Mhm. But I don't know if you're going to want that because it's what turn 3 you have you play the abundance is the earliest, right? Essentially. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So turn three abundance, and then you go into turn four turn when four, you draw. When you draw, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I think at that point I would just be like, I want a specific answer from the Karn rather than the odd or the chance that I get something from my main deck that might not even help me at that point. Right, but 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 honestly, <sighs> if you have two abundance, do you get two cards? No, let's see. I mean, it's a replacement uh, I guess it effect. Wouldn't be, it's yeah. a, no, it's yeah, a replacement no. effect. So you're only choosing to do one of yeah. them. And since you're doing that one, the other one wouldn't go off because you're not then drawing that card. Right, right. So, um, yeah, that – like maybe playing playing two? Okay, I can see playing two. Maybe. Mm. At but that no more point, than that. At that point, I just think you're better off playing the one drop, look at top five, get a colorless. Yes. Uh, oh, well, no, because, yeah, that's specifically colorless. That's specifically yeah. colorless. So that's land. Yeah, it's land. Land and the artifacts. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I do I do you. like, I do <laughs> like, I was liking that card in the deck. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I thought it would be good. Um, but, hey, guys, I, I also, I also have, I, I, 
I think the biggest thing, like I said, slow down. Mm-hmm. And, and the other thing, like you need to do an event. You need to do the thing you need you want to do just to get those jitters and that nervousness out of your system, yeah. right? Because <laughs> I don't think you can't prepare for that. Mm-hmm. Like you can't prepare for it. I I mean I prepared as well as I feel like I could have prepared. Yeah. Right. But it's just <laughs> I was just like not I was just not I was I felt like I was so out of my element. There was one day de- there was one game where I was not slowing down. I shuffled my hand into my deck. <laughs> yeah. So and that was a turn. That was a game one. Oh, that was game no. one. It was game one against Jund. Oh no! And um, I wasn't. I, I, I'm, there was a Tarmogoy, a Tarmogoyf on board. Yeah. Um, I didn't know if I, I, I don't think I had it. Um, I, I needed like the next turn to see what I was gonna draw. Yeah. But then when I realized what I did, I'm like, all right, moving on to game two. <laughs> <laughs> How to go minus seven real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I'm just like, whoo, I got to just yeah. chill, slow down. Yeah. And it's just when you get when you get going fast and you're not comfortable with it, mm-hmm. you're going to you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes, dude. You, you know what I think is really ironic about me giving the the advice of slow the game down? I play I play aggro. Like that's not you. <laughs> that is not you. <laughs> yeah, but like I guess even, even with when, aggro, even, I even, still slow the game tempo down. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, even when you play control, you go fast, but you don't. You really don't. Yeah. You mm-hmm. you, you you do slow everything down. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. And like honestly, so do I. No, normally when I know what's going on at the table. Yeah. And if I don't, all right, what does that do? Yeah. <laughs> but I. It, it, there's also there's also that added variable of time clock. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Take it to uh, turns. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, right. <laughs> or take yeah, it to time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But honestly, like if you're prepping, use a clock. Yeah. Use a clock. That way you're you know what to expect and mm-hmm. put yourself under that restraint, right? Which uh, most of the time it's not really a restraint. But. Honestly, man. Uh, there's in these tournaments the people I respect the most. Are control players that are like, oh, we have 40 minutes to complete three games. There's no way you're completing three games right. in 40 minutes. Right. <laughs> There's not right. a single possible chance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you lose all of them real yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but those guys, those guys are a different, different well, there, breed. And there were there were quite a few uh, control lists. Mm-hmm. I feel like at that tournament too. Oh, at oh at the tournament. Oh, I guess Merktide is like a little bit of a Merktide control. Merktide is control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's. I feel I feel like it's a mid range list, but mm-hmm. leans more towards the control side yeah. of the spectrum. Yeah. Um. That yeah I, I yeah rather than especially, especially now with uh, Ledger Shredder, dude. That card that card so is good. so good. I I was talking to Avi about this uh-huh. earlier. I'm yeah. like, I think that's probably the best card in the format. And it's funny, I really like do. I was, I was on, uh, I was online today, um, scrolling YouTube, and like all of all of these magic accounts that talk about a lot of um, uh, modern, yeah. are like are talking all about Ledger Shredder. Yeah, I'm like, it's it's a it's, stupidly good. Yeah, card. it is. It's very. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, when when Avi was playing it against me in testing, I'm like. Oh, goodness yeah. dude yeah so much value yeah. <laughs> it's in that in that list specifically it's just whoo i mean it's a great card but mm-hmm. i just feel like in that in that shell it's just yeah so good i was i was kind of throwing the i the idea around with him because we were talking about ledger shredder mm-hmm. and um i i wanted to do something with a demir x so so maybe like grixis okay. um with Ledger Shredder, and then, you know, the second card that you cast after you cast the Ledger Shredder then makes it to where you can connive his effect, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Snapcaster instantly gives you that. It's the yeah. one card, play an active or cast another one from yeah, Graveyard. Right. Um, on top of that, I was also 
uh, considering the uh, K command, Kolagon's command. command. So then you can take a creature back from your graveyard to then be able to recast, and then that's the two right there, pretty much off of one card. Yeah. So you have multiple ways of getting that trigger a few times. So now think about this. Now, granted, if Murktide's on board, you're probably winning anyway. Yeah. But with a Murktide on board, Snapcaster Mage, an instant or sorcery in grave. Yeah. You play that, you cast that instant sorcery, yeah. give the Murktide a counter. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Because that would trigger on cast. I wasn't even... That would like, trigger on cast. Yeah, I wasn't even really considering the Murktide. Um, just really oh, the no, Ledger right. Shredder. Yeah, just the, 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 the Ledger Shredder interaction. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, that's too good. Yeah. because that is really good. The, also, if you're on like three mana... The Ledger Shredder plus like Thought Caesar Inquisition, mm-hmm. it's so much value right there because now you're plucking a card from your opponent, you're pi- yeah. you're fixing your hand, but then you can also get your Ledger Shredder to a two four, getting him out of bolt range. Connive uh, puts a counter on it, correct? Yeah. Is that it? It's just a counter. Um, well, you no. you draw a discard a card if it's oh, non land, right. put a plus that's one. That's that's so what yeah. Even better. <laughs> yeah. So then you're also it's so much better. So then you're also now feeding your Snapcaster Mage along with the and, K command if you decide to play. And your Murktide. Yeah. And then same thing with Murktide. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. That that is such a good shell, yeah. man. Oh. Yeah. The, oh, the card really the good. card is ridiculous. Really, really good. Yeah. It, uh, so uh, honestly, if I get into another deck, it's it'd probably be Yogma. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that list. It's yeah. it's pretty really 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 yeah, good. Yeah, I was, I was watching Brendan on uh, MTGO, mm-hmm. and he he would verse that deck a few times. I'm like, this deck looks awesome. Yeah, it does. And and normally I'm not one for like majority green decks, but this this thing is, well, is it's, gorgeous. It's, I feel like it's super similar to the um, that food one. Uh, it's a, sim- a bit, sim- yeah, yeah, similar, yeah. just yeah. because of the um, the cat the cat oven. Yeah. Combo. Yeah, with it's all that. Yeah, it's a lot of sacrifice to mm-hmm. then get in damage to where this one is mm-hmm. sacrifice to draw cards to be searching for your instant kill. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the other one's yep. more over time. The other ones just kill you out. I'm lo- I'm looking at the list right now and I'm like, all right, so what do I need? <laughs> um all right, well I need I'm like a, a lot of stuff. I need a lot of stuff. That list. I need yeah. a lot of stuff. I need I need three Yawkmoths because I have one. Um I need three grists. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's actually not expensive. He's only seven bucks. That's not bad. <laughs> now we're doing a market watch. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but Yawkmoth that's a fifty dollar card. Oh, 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 they're playing this guy? Which one? Oh my goodness! Look Which at the one? sideboard, Thrun. Thrun the last. Oh, they troll. got Thrun. Yes, dude, this guy. I love it. This guy is so good. Sucks <laughs> so much. I hate him so much, man. So Thrun, 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 whatever, whichever. Yeah. It's Thrun the last troll, two and two green. Thrun the last skull can't be countered. He also can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents <laughs> control. Then you can pay one and a green to can regenerate, regenerate him. a man. So number He's one, he can't be countered. Card. Number two, he has hexproof. Yeah, it's, so, it's and he can be regenerated. Oh my goodness! You, I don't even honestly. I don't really know what kills this guy. I know, like a goif. The first, <laughs> the first time I saw that card, I'm like, it does what? Yeah. What? Yeah. In uh, green too, like well, just kind of crazy. I guess how you like get around this. Effect. Uh, Liliana so, target hope. Uh, or if that's. Lili- if it's the only creature, the only they, creature they, then have they have to board, sacrifice they have to sack it, it yes. which you can't regenerate that. Correct. Correct. But that's like about it. Mm-hmm. Any way to force them to sacrifice at instant yeah. speed. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully that's the only creature they have on yeah. board. Which there's, there's multiple effects. There's yeah. multiple cards that do that. Mm-hmm. Um, They're but just not really seeing play no, because right, this because guy this doesn't thing, see play. Right. Right. Gosh. At, uh, there's a scavenger. Why are news. you playing this card in your sideboard? I don't, know. I don't know. That's a, that's a good idea. <laughs> Honestly, I yeah. might have. Well, I uh, not anymore. I had yeah. one. You might have it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have one. But it's it's also it's a three dollar card, a yeah. three or four dollar card. So yeah. it's not bad. Um, you know, one thing I really learned from this tournament, mm-hmm. and I guess like I kind of knew this previously, but getting back into it, this is really one thing I know I want to do is become a level two judge in magic oh, and yeah? just start like 
spectating tournaments because I, I much prefer to like watch everything yeah, at these right. tournaments and like right. help people and, and stuff. And then just like being more of like a coach in aspects. So like when we were going over all of our stuff, uh, either in between rounds or previous to the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, and then just like, collecting cards to let people use <laughs> yeah yeah well it, it, it's funny um i i've That's been I like. i've been thinking about um so you know w with all these card card games that that we're playing right yeah. um flesh and blood just had their pro tour mm -hmm. uh new jersey uh last weekend it was the same week as a tournament actually oh okay. um and you know i i play a lot of legends of runeterra um there's a new there's a new card game that's coming out soon, uh, mobile and PC uh, from Ben Brode, yes. the designer of Hearthstone <laughs> called Marvel Snap. Yep. Um, if you're in our Discord, which if you're not, go go go, go join it out. join the Discord. <laughs> um, it's all it's linked in every video, linked in every video. But I've been posting a lot about this game. It's called Marvel Snap. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it's a Marvel game. Honestly, I don't care. I don't <laughs> care that there's all these games that that use the Marvel IP. Mm -hmm. Like I enjoy, I, I like Marvel. Uh, it's not like I love it or I if dislike it. If the game is it. good, exactly. We That's play all it. I care about. Yeah. Uh, so all we really care about is is that the game is good and mm -hmm. it's fun to play. Yeah. If there's a bad one, well, we're probably not going to play right. it. Right. So. I, me personally, I'm a DC guy. I I love Batman, um, but it, I don't know why. I don't know why this is. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of DC card games. Yeah, yeah. Not nowadays. Yeah. DC was more in Dice Masters. I feel. I was like. gonna say, what was that new one that was coming out? Where it was DC like DC Dual Force. Yes, Dual Force. That's, that's the one. Since, so when Marvel Snap got announced, yeah. I'm like, now I can't wait for DC Dual Force. <laughs> right. Right. So <laughs> that one um, seems really cool. It I, does. I think I might like the idea of that one uh, more. Yes. I want to see, snap. yeah. Now and now that they've announced Marvel Snap, we need to see something. I mm -hmm. want to see something on yeah. DC Dual Force. I really, yeah. really, really do. Um, and so, so what I where where I was going with this was seeing all of these uh, tournament uh, tournament weekends. Um, mm -hmm. Really, and I and I've thought about this for a little bit, but um, it, never to any real degree of. Uh, um, seriousness, but I, I just think casting for tournaments would be mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah, like I would, I would have so much fun <laughs> doing that. Um, like I, I've been involved in multiple different card game communities, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, that would be so cool. There, th there have been plenty of tournaments that I've watched, and I'm like, really, these are the guys that you've got <laughs> doing it. Um, but there's there now there's just so many tournament there's so many card games now mm -hmm. there there's a lot and yeah, that's is. a good thing guys like that's that's what we do that's a great thing that there's a lot of card games mm -hmm. right um what that means is there's competition it means there's a lot of competition to make a good game um yeah. we don't I mean, when's the last time you played flesh and blood oh it's been is a it long like that time. time that we pretty much hung out at your yeah. place yeah yeah over a year yeah it's been a long time and yeah. i'm like <laughs> I want to play it more, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm kind of scared to because I don't want to be like, oh, this is so cool. Now I got to get all this stuff because that's right. an expensive game. Yeah. yeah. That is such an expensive and hard game yeah. to get into. Yeah. Then I'm like, I'm super nervous. I, I have like these thoughts every now and again. It's like, oh, yeah, we can get people to play Flesh and Blood like uh, when whenever we do decide mm -hmm. to open a place, mm -hmm. but kind of limited to where it's like, we don't play with majestic cards. Oh yeah, because those are the cards that are extremely pricey, or mm -hmm. the ledge or fables. That's what fables, they're called. Yeah, uh, majestic yeah. is like the mythic rare. Um, those ones aren't really too bad priced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. But I mean, dude, when when I see a tournament mm -hmm. and there's people showing up to the tournament that like I'm all for sleeving. Uh, heck, I'm all for double sleeving. Yeah. But when I see people come with their cards in literal those glass cases yeah. that they put them down and they're playing with them. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I get it. I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I yeah. get it. hundred percent. I get it. Guys, the fabled cards are not cheap. In like forces. the, the uh, flesh and blood. But here's, here's the, this is the great thing about TCGs and CCGs. Yeah. You put money into it, but that money's staying right where it's yeah. at. Yeah. Now it may lose value, it may gain value, but with expandable card games, 
it's not it is not an investment say what you will yeah, about the game plan you, the you, gameplay you put in 250 dollars like unless you find someone that wants to buy your collection that you're not you have, getting you're not getting, you're not getting the money back no nope, no nope. and in, in in most cases I, I won't say in most cases but in a lot of cases with tcgs and ccgs you're getting your money back and then some yeah 100 percent, and that's why i've always been um when I was initially collecting all of those magic cards, I'm yeah. like, I'm okay with this because at the end of the day, I know I'm going to be able to sell these mm -hmm. and if not get my money back, make, make a decent profit. Yeah. Um, and, and that's kind of where I'm at now to where I know all the, these cards that we're getting, I'm like, well, I, I do have an end goal mm -hmm. that if, if I'm not going to use them, we'll put them in inventory for the shop. Yep. And then we can use it as inventory and sell them. Yeah. And or rent them out. Or, and then or exactly. Get the value over time. Exactly. Again. Right. Yeah. There's there's so there's a lot of options that mm -hmm. that are there that you just you do not get with expandable games. Yeah. That and that's nothing bad against expandable games because dude, I love them. Those are <laughs> those are so much fun too. Yeah. Um. You know, we we were just we were just talking about Marvel Champions. I dude, need to get Iron Marvel Heart. Champions. I need to get her. What I said, I need to get Ironheart. I know. I, I I'm waiting until Ironheart comes in. Oh, man, we were watch. I was watching um somebody go through those <laughs> cards today, and yeah. I'm like, these are so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> man, I she she's like her and Tony Stark are like my two favorite yeah. characters in this game yes. right now. Yeah. The consistent damage that they put out. Sign me up, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it, they're just. The downsides, uh, I'm sorry, the, the the benefits and the upsides far outweigh the downsides yeah. um, when it comes to uh, value and cost mm -hmm. in these TCGs and the CCGs. So, Not um, to mention, you get a return if you top these tournaments as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I also don't know any other, well, I guess the competitive tournament uh, for expandable card games is kind of like gone now. Yeah, that, so. that, that's the thing, like... There's no, I don't think there's any Marvel Champion tournaments. Well, uh, like versus two player card game, right? Yeah. They do have tournaments for that, and and so um, versus is a game that I want to get into. Um, mm. We at some point we will bust it out on the channel and we'll start diving into that. Um, I love the idea of these expandable card games in competitive uh, environments and competitive formats. Mm -hmm. So I just started getting into the game. Um, I've joined discords and groups of, of fellow players. So I'm trying to, you know, be a part of these communities um, and kind of meet people and then learn the game, um, kind of reach out and um, to, to others within that community and kind of get them uh, get some help from them. Um, yeah. and All right. So sorry about that. We just had a uh, technical glitch on our end. Our power went out. <laughs> so all right, we're jumping right back in. So we were talking about versus system. Um, yeah. So I'm uh, joining these communities. I'm kind of getting involved. Um, you know, trying to get others to kind of show me the game, teach me the game. Um, and I, personally, I'm excited. Um, I I think the game the game looks really, really, really cool. Yeah. Um, very similar to Magic, but just on a much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. So, um, and like having having games that are similar to other games that I enjoy in smaller, more intimate communities is very appealing to me. Oh, like to, yeah. you talk about like Versus and then Ashes Reborn as mm -hmm. well. Um, there, there's there's quite a few card games that are out there that honestly they're so good. Mm -hmm. Um. And like I, we like as as a business and like as a channel, we we want to get into those games. <laughs> we we do. Um, like, is that just me or or do you feel feel similar? Yeah. I, oh, I I for sure love whenever I go into a game and I'm like, what you mean? To tell me I can spell sling? I yeah. can play control. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. Like all yeah. day. Yeah. I mean, once I you know learn the basics of the game, right. then I enjoy it a right. little bit more though. Right. Right. And I would I would really love to be having like dead games as well, mm -hmm. like especially at the store where it's like teach people these other card games because sometimes there's like that one or two different things in a card game mm -hmm. that like you just don't really like. Right. That you could not find in like a different card game so then yeah. you're like oh yeah. i could really like this other one it's just yeah. it's been out of print for 10 years yeah right so right. 
So like I, I'm also in the middle of getting into Netrunner too. Yeah. <laughs> so Netrunner is another a dead dead mm-hmm. game. Like it, it is dead, but also like that's an example of a game where there's a community that is yeah. keeping it alive yeah. uh, called Project Nisei. Um, so <laughs> that's another game where it's like okay, we need we unfortunately mm-hmm. did not play that when yeah. it was alive and well and thriving. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we and like. <sighs> It's 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 funny because it's like as magic players, it's like that's we play. We play magic. Yeah. Our, we have the privilege of playing a game that's been around for almost 30 years now yeah. and is still going so strong. Yeah. They're going strong as they they have sets coming out that are Warhammer themed and Lord of the Rings themed. Mm-hmm. And for those. Yes, yeah, so those are going to be fun. <laughs> um and there's there's a Dungeons and Dragons commander set coming out, yep. uh, and looks which looks very very cool. I'm loving Tasha. Oh, everybody's I'm loving, loving Tasha. Tasha. Yeah, right. But uh, I say that because it's like we're we've we play this game that has been around for such a long time, but the, we're missing all these other games. Mm-hmm. Like if you're not if you're not, uh, you know, keeping your eyes and your ears open, you're gonna miss all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, Last year, I actually picked up. So I used to dabble with, uh, not Lord of the Rings, uh, World of Warcraft TCG, yeah, yeah, right? And then that, yeah. like it completely died. And then yep. they came out with Hearthstone. That's how old this game is. It yeah. was before Hearthstone. Before, before Hearthstone. And um, and as I'm, I, I bought some dude's collection that he had. Mm-hmm. And going through the cards, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the this is the exact art that they use in Hearthstone for a lot of their yeah, cards. Right. Which right, is really right. cool to see. Right. Uh, not so much like anymore, but for sure in like their right. older cards. Right. right. And so I I played it a few times. I grapple with people. Uh-huh. Most of the people there loved it. And mm-hmm. there's there's actually a co op version rather mm. than just one v one. They have okay. these they have these raid decks. Oh, so kind of like yeah. Arch Enemy. Yeah. Okay. Except you can go in with like um like eight people. Yeah, you so can go in so, with a bunch. So, so it's like World of Warcraft. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You go with five people, there's all like different archetypes yeah. for your deck. You can yeah. be like, oh, I'm playing mage, I'm playing death knight, I'm playing warrior, I'm playing priest, whatever it is. Yeah. And then there's obviously all these different ways to then be playing. Yeah. Am I now playing a creature deck? Mm-hmm. Am I now playing arms warrior with nothing but equipments? And mm-hmm. now just getting in there. And the the raid decks, there's like a Nixia's lair. You can go fight the Lich King. You mm-hmm. can fight Ragnaros. Uh, I believe you can uh, t- uh, fight Illidan as well. I'm not entirely sure on all mm. of the different raid decks. Okay, okay. but very cool one v one and co op. Okay, yeah, that's that that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the 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 difference between uh, competitive and co op games is cannot cannot be. Uh, understated for yeah. for sure. So, mm-hmm. um, all right. So we we've kind of been all over the place today. Um, <laughs> started started by talking about a uh, our tournament recap, and like I said, guys, biggest thing that I learned. Uh, you just you got to get through the event. You got to get yeah. through the event. Get those nerves out. You're gonna you're gonna make mistakes. Um, I think you probably are. If you don't, awesome. Like that's great. <laughs> um, like you prepare not to. Try not to. <laughs> and make sure you're warm. Oh, Make yeah. sure your core yeah. is warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring some wrong. hand warmers mm-hmm. if you need, fingerless yeah. gloves, whatever you need to yeah. do. Because uh, yeah. sometimes you could just get cold, yeah. especially if you're nervous there, yeah. you'll get cold. Yeah. But you, you, you know, my favorite thing of that tournament was hmm. just getting to hang out with our team. Yeah. Like that was really cool. Yeah, like, it was. For, for, for being my first modern event, to be able to hang out with you, Noah, Brendan, and Avi, like yeah. that was just cool. Yeah, it was. That was cool. And then we, and then we went out. This is the best part. The best part of the day, <laughs> honestly, was after we left. We went to Giordano's. Yep. My wife and kids yep. came out. We all had dinner. It was a great time. Yeah, it, was. it was a lot of fun. <laughs> we were all tired. It was a long day, but it was worth it. Like, mm-hmm. and guys, like it's it it, it it that's that's why. Like that's mm-hmm. the why right there. I wasn't even planning on being there all day. I was. Gonna I know like you be weren't there. I show know up for you a weren't. Bit, leave. Come back. Yeah. But it was just like. It got to the point where it was like, all right, we were hanging out before the match or the game started. Mm-hmm. And then at about like halfway through, mm-hmm. someone's finished with their match. So now I'm hanging out with them yeah. and then waiting for the other people to join. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, I'm not really doing nothing for, you know, five hours or whatever the time frame mm-hmm. is. And then it's really just like, 
two hours I'm not doing anything. Right, right, but I'm right. doing what I like, which is observing yeah. all the different matches mm -hmm. and seeing how everyone in the, in the group was doing yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it was the, the five hours went by so quick. It did. It was fast. It really, really did. Mm -hmm. Like at the end, I'm like, we're, we're like, holy cow, it's, <laughs> it's what time? Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't think I got home to like seven and some change mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. The tournament was at 1030. Mm -hmm. Nuts. It was crazy. I was surprised. But like that entire day is I felt like was a perfect microcosm of like what we are wanting to do with hobbies yeah. and happiness. Yeah. Like now you just expand it from five people <laughs> to literally everyone in the tournament, yeah, right. right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and this is a party every yeah, Friday and, now. And, and and we, you know, we we met some people, uh, yeah. which was really cool. Oh, yeah. Got to hand out some business cards. Mm -hmm. Met some uh, people from Indiana. Met some nice people. Met some not so nice people. <laughs> <laughs> There, dude, but there's all there's got there's always has to be that yeah. that one or two guys who's like the loudest. Oh, oh I'm just oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, you guys know who that I'm rage. talking about. But no, Dan didn't rage. No, at the tournament. no, no um, not at all. I didn't do the but greatest. There were other but people that raged. There were people Holy that raged. Cow, yeah. They were tilted. They were so tilted. Yeah. Yep. And um, every single play. Oh, you're doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of right, course Dan, you had it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I heard that phrase <laughs> at that tournament. I'm like, you I'm always <laughs> assume they have it. Like, <laughs> assume it. Play to the worst possible scenario yeah. for you. Yeah. Until yeah. you exactly know. Yeah. So like during like during the tournament, I was like, I wasn't super bothered by it. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm like, honestly, I'm just not surprised. Yeah. Now looking back, I just like to poke and make fun. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time. Yeah. Now's the time to just poke and make fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not super nice. But you know what? You got to just smile and laugh, right? Yeah. You got to smile yeah. and laugh. Yeah. You got to smile yeah. and laugh. That, else... Those guys didn't win. We didn't win. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, it, matter. It doesn't now. matter. It, it does not matter. But... We all took the L. <laughs> yeah. We all took the L. All right, so um, we uh, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna jump into our favorite segment. Oh, Jumping man. into the favorite segment, card of the week. Yes. All right. So first of all, if you missed our stream last weekend, okay, yeah. go watch it. Okay, you you can you can go watch yeah. it. But what we did is we played. Especially if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we played Yu-Gi-Oh. Jim finally got me to to play Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. and I did. I did mention this in the stream, right? I was like, you know, Jim's been wanting to get me into Yu-Gi-Oh for a yeah. long time. Finally, we did it. Uh, I, I texted him and I was like, all right, so we good for the stream tomorrow? Uh, we we ready? He's like, yeah, we're we're good. I'm like, all right. Well, I had some ideas of what to do, but then he's like, no, we're gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, how about we play some Yu-Gi-Oh Go format? I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I was I was game. I was to I was yeah. up for the moment he said it. So I'm mm -hmm. like, let's do it. Yep. Let's do it. And before that, there's multiple times where, where Jim's been like, Dan, I think you're gonna like Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. or Goat format. Goat format, Goat format specifically. specifically yeah. yeah. And so I was like, all right, I, I didn't. I'm like, oh, I don't know, mm -hmm. dude. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was so yeah. sick. It's it's a lot of fun. So my it's, it was my first time getting to play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards mm -hmm. and know what they do mm -hmm. and mess around with them. And man, are they cool! <laughs> so you know, you know, you know, we talked about that card, Pot of Greed. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, it was one of the card of the weeks. It's Pot of Greed is one third of the Holy Trinity mm -hmm. in GOAT format for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Yep. And the, the ability to draw two cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, dude, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I found out what another, well, I, I got to, I found out what the entire Holy Trinity of Yu-Gi-Oh yep. was. Yep. And today we're going to talk about another third of the Holy Trinity. Yes. I want to talk about it because. Um, you played this on me, oh, and right, I found I, I was like, "What does this card do?" It's called Delinquent Duo. I did it twice, turn after turn. <laughs> it is called Delinquent Duo. It is a magic card um, or spell a spell card, card okay? <laughs> and says, "Pay a thousand life points. Randomly select and discard one card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent then selects and discards another card from his/her hand." It's essentially Pot of Greed reverse. It is. Yeah. And so I believe the first turn you played that, mm -hmm. I had three cards in hand. Dude, I hit like the perfect card, but like, all right, I kind of got screwed over on that top deck. But whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. So so he plays that card, <laughs> and I go, wait, it does what? 
I'm like, what does that card do? Which, speaking of, we're going to get shirts that say, what does that card do? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a big idea. That of card mine. does what? But, but anyway, but uh, but in, anyway, when he, he read it, I'm like, seriously? <laughs> like, is there anything that I can? Nope, I can't do anything. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, we'll discard this card, discard this card. Yep. And then it goes to my turn. I think I draw a card and then I either I think I set a card or something. Yeah. And so I still had like one I, I had like one or two cards in my hand going to the next turn. Mm -hmm. And then and then what did you do? The card, the monster card that I had flipped face down was Magician of Faith, mm -hmm. which when she flips over, so whether he would have attacked it or I just flipped the card, mm -hmm. it then allows me to take a spell or magic card from the graveyard and put it back into my hand. So I went and got Delinquent Duo again while Dan had two cards in hand. It felt so bad. And then we got rid of his entire hand. It felt so bad. Yeah. Oh, man. But you know what the crazy thing is about that game? It's like you were just not even so much top decking. It was just the <laughs> fact that, like, the cards in that deck are just so They're powerful. They're so good. For, like, one for one. Yeah. It's just like, okay, I'll just play top deck hero and be like, oh, here's this card. I kill your thing. Now you don't get the effect as mm -hmm. well. So now you're you now you're even worse off. Mm -hmm. But then it's just like, well, if I wanted to try and get in and do some damage, well, then you just kill my creature. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. yes, I set you back. But since I'm playing a control deck, you had that extra time to then be able to find the answers that you need as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Delinquent Doe is a really, really good card. Yeah, nearly every single deck plays these three. Yeah. Well, um, for sure these two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go over the third one maybe yeah. in the future. Yeah. So um, w the other thing that I had to get used to, um, the, 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 they're japanese size cards, right? Isn't that yeah. what they're called? Okay. Yeah. Um, I was kind of... I've played with Japanese cards before. They're they're smaller than standard size yeah. cards, um, but it's a 40-card 40, 40 deck, right? 40-card deck, yeah. That was really weird. It yeah. was really different. Not only are they smaller in dimensions, it's a smaller, it's smaller stack It's a now. smaller deck, And it was yeah. single-sleeved as well for Mine you. Mine was, yes. And yeah. so it was just even weirder yeah, for him. Yeah, it was him. just weirder. <laughs> yeah, um, but He's it like, was... did my hands grow? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, he handed me his deck, which his deck was double sleeved, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. "There are more cards here." He's just like, "No, they're double sleeved." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Right, yeah, double right, sleeved forty sense. cards, mm -hmm. and the oversized or the the double sleeved uh, were standard size, so it was really 40, 40 standard size cards mm -hmm. for him at that point. Yeah, so um, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing Yu Gi Oh. Um, and then I think that no. This was not the first time I saw the card Delingua Duo. Yeah. Duo. You had showed it to me before, yeah. but it's my first time seeing it being played in <laughs> yeah. game. And I'm like, and Pot of Greed, and, Pot and of the Greed. other third of the Holy yep. Trinity. Yep. And I'm like, which you got to play that one. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can talk about it right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Go ahead. What's what's the other third? It's called Graceful Charity. Yeah, it'll. It's another spell card. It allows you to draw three cards but then discard two cards from your hand. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's you're seeing one more card than Pot of Greed, but in, in a format where like your graveyard matters, like we were playing Chaos. If yeah. you put a Light and Darkness now into the graveyard, well, now your Chaos Sorcerer is live. Mm -hmm. Now your BLS is live. So is it really a downside? Nope. Not at all. Mm -mm. Because I was, that's literally what I was trying to do. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I, I need these light cards and dark cards yep. in my gar graveyard so I can get my Chaos yep. Sorcerer online. Yep. And I think, I think, didn't I, uh, is, what's it called? Graceful Chariot? Yeah. Charity. Graceful Charity. Graceful yeah. Charity. I think I Graceful Charity into Pot of Greed. Isn't that uh, what? Are you Pot of Greed I, into Graceful Charity? Yeah, I think that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, it was that way. Because yeah. I think I top decked Pot of Greed. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that was the only card I had in hand. And then <laughs> drew him to the next hill. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. But I'm over here delinquent duoing you yeah. twice. <laughs> yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, delinquent duo, man, it is a really, really good card. Yeah, it is. Um, the, the the biggest thing that I had to, to get around was, dude, those text boxes. Yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's some really small text, guys. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and now it's even worse now because it's mm -hmm. the same size text, the same size text box, mm -hmm. but now the entire thing is full. Oh, yeah. So you got to read like seven <laughs> lines inside this small text box. It's it's a bit crazy. Yeah, so. dude, that, that's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. So, um. Yeah, Delinquent Duo, good card. 
Very really strong. good, really, really good. It's card. been, I think, I don't remember if it came off the ban list for advanced Yu Gi Oh, which is like the normal format everyone plays. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember if it came off the ban list recently, mm -hmm. but normally, whenever one of the old school cards comes off the ban list, mm -hmm. it's only for three months mm. because they're just like, okay, we we tried it, seen how, <laughs> how it is for the format, yeah. It's broken. Mm -hmm. Like, we can never now release yeah. this. But yeah. now, after 17 years, there's another card that's finally free from the ban list. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Change of Heart. Oh, I think I've heard. Yeah. I think I heard that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I don't, we'll I don't, go over don't that don't card know what it does, day. but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Delinquent Dill, good card. Also, Yu-Gi-Oh! Fun. Yeah. If you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh, go play. It's yeah. kind of fun. If you guys like L Magic. At least Goat format. Yeah, if you guys like uh, <laughs> Magic. You'll you'll like goat format. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not so much of like crazy uh, special summon, special summon. Take a card from extra deck now. Special summon this. Put those two cards into the graveyard. Those now both trigger. Search through the mm -hmm. deck. Go get mm -hmm. these cards. Put it into your hand. Since this card is now added to the graveyard, you can now banish it to then special summon a card mm -hmm. from your hand. You take the exceed monster or the link monster. You put those two together. You go into a rank four, whatever it is. It's a lot. Oh, you done? It's nothing like that. I could have kept going, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, mind you, that's only with one card. What? Yeah. Oh, my god. It's goodness. nuts, Dan. It's nuts. The okay, retail right. is stupid. I have a question. Yeah. Now that I know about Yu-Gi-Oh, what does a blue eyes white dragon do? <laughs> <laughs> is, or is it just a is it just a big beater? Is it's that's all it is. It's just oh, a that's 3, all it is. thousand beater. It has oh. no effect. Oh, three thousand? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's the same as Black Luster Soldier, but there's not a lot of cards that can get over it. You have to pretty much kill it with card effect at that I point. I see, I see. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> now I, I understand the attack and the defense values yeah. and kind yeah. of what, like, the ranges are. Because yep. I there were times where I'm like, I can't get over that 2,000 <laughs> defense. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious, too. <laughs> oh, man. Dan's like... Dude, this thing is huge. Yeah. I'm like, that's why it's in the deck, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know it can stall someone. I'm playing yeah. a control list. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it, it, the, the other the other cool thing, too, mm -hmm. is don't you love it when you you get a friend into a game that you enjoy playing yeah. in there and they just find it so cool and yeah. have fun? Yeah. That's, that, that, that's so cool, too. So I got to be on the giving end of that one. Oh, I, I also... <laughs> completely sidetracked from what I was going to talk about. So okay. like if you're a magic player, you're not, you, you might like retail Yu-Gi-Oh or the normal format of Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. but I think you'd really like goat format more because you're now utilizing the cards in your hand as resources. Mm -hmm. You're more using your life as a resource yeah. rather than I just need to put out as much stuff as possible and then hope he can't take care of it. Mm -hmm. So rather than you being like, oh, I can set all these cards face down, but then what happens if they hit you with, like, uh, a heavy storm? So, like, when you had two back rows set, I'm just like, kill all of your back row, yeah. and you couldn't do anything for it. Yeah. Just like, all right, well, yeah. I guess I got to eat that loss. I need that day of judgment. Yeah, so I think I think uh, they would like it because the resource management. Yeah, 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 really cool. So, um. All right, well that's that's all we got for today, guys. Um, but, but before before we kind of wrap up here, um, next week we are we are taking off uh, yep. because of Memorial Day holiday, and like I said, I will be gone, um, taking a vacation, so we will not have an episode next week. Um, what is that date? That's uh, that's the week after. It's the week of the thirtieth. Um, give me real one quick second here so that's the first so okay. that's the first so no we will not have a podcast episode release on the first but we will be back the week after that mm -hmm. all right so uh just be aware of that uh gonna just take a break over the memorial day holiday um so just keep that in mind so um all right thanks everybody for being here uh jimbo where can people find you on the internet yeah, you guys can find me on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at Jim Morgan HNH. You can find me on Instagram at Daniel.G.Campbell and on Twitter at underscore DG Campbell. If you head up, if you head over to our website, hobbiesandhappiness.com, you can find links to all of our social platforms there. Uh, head over to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Uh, also head over to YouTube. Don't forget, enter that giveaway. Yes. Um, that giveaway will be live for a few weeks. Um, and then we will do an announcement of the winner on one of our streams. 
And if we don't get response, we'll, we'll most likely we will be announcing that winner uh, through multiple videos just um, mm-hmm. to get it out there. All right. Um, and yeah. So again, thanks everybody for being here. We will see you in two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. I know this this episode was a uh, a lot different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot different, yeah. but that's okay. Uh, we wanted to talk about the tournament. Yeah, yeah. We we just wanted to come come here and chill with y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what, guys? If you want to come hang out and chill with us. Catch us on stream. Um, Soon, very soon, we are going to be doing some changes to our streaming schedule Mm -hmm. um, and kind of how we do streaming. So we still we will be doing every other week um, here at this table, um, but then we are going to be supplementing it with uh, some digital online play as well. Mm -hmm. So mostly going to be doing card games because (laughs) that's what we do, guys. Love us some card games, right? Um, And then maybe maybe supplementing it with some other stuff as well, but. uh, we doing a lot of card games, so especially with Marvel Snap, uh, DC Dual Force. Hopefully that comes out. Uh, I know that's coming this year. At least it's supposed to be coming this mm-hmm. year. Um, and then there's so many other card games, guys, that uh, I love playing, and he <laughs> loves playing. Um, so we're gonna get you all into those. So all right, thanks everybody for being here, and we'll see you all in two weeks. All right, thanks everybody. Take care. Um,